Hi, Steph. How is it? Can you hear me good? Hi, Niall. I'm trying to figure out how I can change the thumbnail. Hmm. I'm good. I'm good. Hi, Madison. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hi, everyone. Hi, Darcy. Hi, Izzy. Hi, Abby. Hi, Kiki. Hi, Lexi. Hi, Carly. Hi, hi. Can you guys hear me? You used to watch my Twitch? Well, welcome. Welcome in. Hi, guys. Um... Kiki, have I ever thought about making a Discord? Yes, I had one and I ended up deleting it because it was too much. I I don't know. I just can't handle it apparently. Why? Why can't I do? Yes. Um, I want to work on this. I started a hexagon cardigan um, with these cakes. Um, I think that maybe we'll have to like frog this or I'm not sure because I don't remember what hook size I used. This is from a while ago. But yeah, I thought this was like a, a good... Easter color. Yeah? What do we think? Make Easter stuff. Yes, ma'am. I'm doing good. Um, I took a couple days to rest. We... Yeah. Anyway, I took a couple of days to rest, so I'm going live today because I don't have a video ready. So we're just we're just gonna go live together instead. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I was just really trying to figure out how to, like, change the um, thumbnail. Because I took a picture. But let's get started with our crocheting. What are you guys doing today?
Do I know how to attach fabric to crochet, like like sewing? I can sew. I can sew some stuff. I want to say I have a feeling that I was using a 6.5 millimeter hook because that's what I usually use. But like, what if I wasn't? I don't want to frog it, but like frogging it would probably be the best decision. Working on a hexagon cardigan. I saw this sitting in the corner of my room. So I was like, yeah, it looks bigger. The ones that I just did, they look bigger. So do you want me to send this to you? This tiny little thing. Silly, silly. Hi, Socks. I'm happy you caught live too. I could have actually just started on the other end of the yarn. Maybe that would be more efficient. I'm not going to send you guys stuff. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down, man. I'm frogging because I'm not sure what hook size I used. I probably used a six, honestly. Hi, happy vibes. All right, magic circle. Start the hexagon. Get it moving. Hi, Savannah. Hi, Grace. Happy early Easter, everyone. Do you have some fun plans? Vicky, happy birthday today. One, two, three, four. Karen latte cake. Um latte cakes. Latte cake. Is that the fuzzy one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Lovely. Thoughts and, <laughs> Thoughts and opinions on Persona 3. Can you guys find my boyfriend in the chat? Um, I'm making a cardigan just because I want to. You can get Lily Sugar and Cream yarn in multiple places. The main place that I buy it is Joanne because they sell the supersized ones and those are four ounces. Um, they also sell it at Michael's, but I think that they only sell the regular size ones, which is two ounces. So like double the size if you buy them at Joanne, which I like that. But you can also get them online other 
places. You can buy them straight from Yarn Inspirations, which is the people that make them. My favorite pizza is pineapple pizza. Obviously, pineapple pizza is the best. This is baby cakes. Yep. It's baby cakes, and the color is... Ooh, what is it? Candy hearts. I think it's really cute. It's like... Pretty much a pastel rainbow. Yarn Inspirations does make a lot of yarn. Latte cake is the fuzzy one. I have no idea what to make with that, honestly. I have some, and um, I've... Okay, I have made one hat with it. Other than that, I, it just kind of sits there, and, like, we look at each other sometimes. <laughs> Friday night dinner? No, I have not. A hexagon carding with a two millimeter hook is crazy, crazy. I use a 6.5 and I still feel like they don't go fast enough. I started crocheting whenever I was 13 and I am now 24. I'm from Missouri. We haven't been live long. We've only been live for about 12 minutes. <laughs> hmm. I don't remember why I started crocheting. Nothing crazy, probably. I have tried amigurumi. I just don't make amigurumi very often or ever, really. Please send help. My cat is yelling at me. Um, I can send my dogs. Look at them over there. You're sleeping. I have not played Assassin's Creed. This one right here, that's Neji. This one over here, that's Terry. The time is 2.49 p.m. I just got back from having lunch. Your dog looks like my dog, but cookies and cream version. Nice. Love that. Hi, Sydney. <laughs> yes, Bailey. I went and I had Thai food. How did you know? Aside from strawberry, I think my most requested color is probably um, probably this one, which is buttercream. It's like a little pastel rainbow kind of thing. And then there's the classics like black and white and sage green. 
I always have Thai. Actually, the other day, me and my mom went to dinner and we went and got Mexican food. So, hmm. I crochet without looking because, you know, it's it's not that hard. I'm just feeling it with my fingers as I as we go along. Especially on the granny stitch, I think it's it's really easy because you don't actually have to go into any specific stitches. You're just going into these big holes. It's much easier to feel it out with your hands on the granny stitch. Yeah, I'm getting started on a cardigan. I think we'll make it like a, a cropped cardigan. I don't have a favorite color to crochet with. I mean, I'm not looking at it most of the time, so I don't really care what it is. I'll crochet with any color, doesn't matter. Yes, I use the yarn behind me. It doesn't, I know, I know it doesn't look like it changes often, but I use it when I need it. Hook recommendations. My favorite hooks are Clover Amore hooks. They just work best for my hand shape and like my method of crocheting, I guess. But like, honestly, if you have the ability to, I would recommend like just buying one of a bunch of different kinds of hooks and just try them all out and see which one you like the best. Because I bought like many hooks before I got my first Clover More hook. And then after I started using that one, I was like, oh, yeah, these are my hooks now. All the other hooks are obsolete. I keep them around just in case, just in case all of my Clover More hooks like magically disappear or something like that. I don't often wear the stuff that I crochet, but I'm kind of trying to change that. Yes, ergonomic hooks are great. These are ergonomic hooks. The ones that have a little handle. I'm better at crocheting and I have a deeper, more thorough understanding of crocheting, but I really like knitting. I think knitting is, is quite fun. Usually I go back and forth. Like if I get sick of crocheting, then I'll knit for a little bit. I'll like go make a hat for a few hours. But I definitely crochet way more. Oh, I have a furls right here. It's gigantic though, so I can't use it. I have a choke hold on all of my hooks and that's because I put my finger right up here on the top. So the, with the furls, you see how much longer it is? It's like a whole inch longer, at least. And the whole point of it being big is so that you can have your grip on your fingers around the big part. But then I can't reach. So I got to hold it up here. And then it's super long at the end. Got like two or three inches sticking out that gets stuck in the project. So, yeah. I don't wear the things that I make because I don't go anywhere. I like being comfy. I work from home, obviously. Most of the time I just put on a t-shirt and sweatpants. Example. We did four, not three. 
I don't have any tattoos. I have never made a graph again. I did go to college, but I didn't finish college. I was going um, for my major was fashion design and product development. So I was doing a lot of sewing, a lot of designing. I took Photoshop classes. I took marketing classes, stuff like that. But um, I didn't finish because COVID. And then I got diagnosed with epilepsy and I couldn't drive anymore. And my business was taking off. So I was like, you know what? Um, the universe is telling me to stop. So I'm going to stop. I don't have any tips to um, avoid hand pain, unfortunately. I don't do anything, which is probably, um, I mean, it's not great, obviously. It's going to hurt me in the future. But. Um, I cannot make a tutorial for a crochet bee. Sorry. No, I don't use thin yarn. Honestly, like in the world of yarn, I, I use relatively thicker yarn because anything that's under a four weight, a four or a worsted or an Aran, those are all like the same thing. Um, I don't, I don't. I don't even want to touch that stuff. I don't want to go near that. So four, five, six, that's a really good yarn range for me. <laughs> but like the majority of people, I feel like there's so many people that use three weight yarn and I'm like, it's not terrible, but golly, <laughs> not a fan. Hi, TSL Dame. Welcome, welcome. Um, pound of love. Yes. Yeah, probably. I think so. Yarn storage. Um, no, neither of my dogs is any kind of like medical dog or we had both of the dogs before I had epilepsy. They're just here to chill and nap. Look at them napping. I'm working on a hexagon cardigan. So this would be like the beginning. This, this right here would be your armpit area. No, you can't have a house tour. Um, <laughs> see, uh, my webcam is connected to my computer. I can't really walk around with you guys. Sorry. I have, I have done some amigurumi. The next video will, should be coming out, um, on Monday. I try to post Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I didn't have a video ready for today, so we're doing a live stream instead. But I'm hoping to get back on it by Monday. I, I would say a weight four yarn is the most common to find in the U.S., I have never got a Wubble kit. I think they've I think they've probably offered to send me one, but I don't think I need one. Hi Jean. I had Thai food today. <laughs> The most time-consuming project I've ever made was a blanket. 
but I don't make blankets for orders. Um, I've only made blankets for like two or three of my family members, and that's it. I hate making blank. I ugh, I hate making blankets. Donuts Crafty Corner says reminder to drink water. So everyone take a break, drink some water. Christina, interestingly enough, I don't like coffee. I just, I, I can't get past the taste. It's so, so bitter to me. And I just, I am, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Even if I get like a super sugary drink, like, uh, you know, if you go to Starbucks, you know, a Frappuccino with like chocolate and whipped cream and all that stuff in it. Um, if it has coffee in it, I can taste it and it ruins the whole drink and I, I can't get past it. So I don't drink any coffee. Except for um, I do get Keurig, like K-Cups, and I get um, like great value cappuccinos, and those don't taste like coffee for some reason, probably because they don't really have that much coffee in it at all. I can drink those, <laughs> but anything else, it's a no. It's a no from me. I think that my favorite Lily Sugar and Cream colorway right now is uh, Kelp. I will make an Organizing My Yarn Stash video eventually. I've just been so busy with like a bunch of other stuff. Trying Amigurumi video is also on my list of things to do. Oh yeah, beer. Beer's nasty. I but I'm I've never been a a drinker of any kind. Hi Thomas. <laughs> I want to start a new Stardew Valley game. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it to go on sale on Steam because, okay, we already have Stardew Valley, but it's on Switch, and I would rather play it on PC, but we've already bought it, so I don't want to, I don't know, I don't want to pay the full $14 for another copy of the game because I've already bought it for the Switch once, so I would feel better if it was on uh, sale whenever I get it. Um, yes, I will make a video tutorial for the Snapple drink holder sometime soon. It was fun on the switch. I played it for like, I, I got hyper fixated on it and I played it all night for like a whole week. And it was, I mean, I was obsessed for quite a while. And I was watching playthroughs of people playing it. And I was like, it's like, it's so much faster if you play it on PC. It looks so much more efficient. And and I was like, okay, well, I need to get it on PC now. <laughs> but also, I want to say that was like two years ago was the first time that I played it. So I haven't played it in quite a while. But also, whenever we started, I was playing with, I was playing co-op with my boyfriend. Because I really, really liked the farming aspect of it. And um, Caesar really liked doing everything else. <laughs> so I would like get up every day and I would tend to our crops and then I would do a bunch of foraging and then I would take care of all the animals. And he was just like running around and collecting crap and going to the mines. Works really well. It was fun. Um, actually, yeah, for, um, somebody asked, would you ever crochet a bag? And I think that I will. 
Um, there was a lot of suggestions on what to do with all of the granny squares that I did. Hi, Katrina. Thank you so much for the $2. I appreciate you so much. Love you. Thanks for being here. Does it say anything? No. Well, thank you. I hope you're having a lovely day. Oh, I don't block granny squares. I don't block anything. Anyway, people were told me, people told me that I should make bucket hats, which maybe. Um, maybe. But a lot of people did suggest bags. So I was like, oh, bags would be like really easy. And I don't have any bags on my website. And I haven't had any bags on my website for quite a while. Actually, I want to put this bag on my website. The one that's hanging on my door. It's a little mesh bag. I made it a long time ago. And I found it in my closet the other day. And I was like, why isn't this for sale? Like, I'm not using it. I've never used it. Why is it just... Why is this sitting here and not being sold? My favorite brand for hooks is Clover Amore because they just work. They just work for me. TSL Dame, thank you so much for the $5. I appreciate you very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Katrina, again, thank you for the $5. You guys are so sweet. Question, would you be up to accepting granny squares from us out here for a project? I've seen others do that. Melly Doll, thank you for the $5. Thank you. Thai food fund. Oh my gosh, Jen. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I need my everyday Thai. I need Thai food every day. And the restaurant is called Everyday Thai. It's it's very, um, you know, they know. No, it's I, I think it's embarrassing. I have I didn't go back for a little bit. Um partially because I was busy and partially because the the other day, whenever I went in there, they were like, I was about to order, and then the guy was like, P2 with chicken, medium spice. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, we know. <laughs> and I was like, this is so embarrassing. So they know my order. But they don't know my name, I guess. Um. Okay. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I got to answer this question back. Would you be up to accepting granny squares from us out here for a project? I've seen others do that. So, um, honestly, honestly, I'm going to say my initial answer is no. And mainly that's because making the granny squares is my favorite part of the project, whatever it may be, you know, if you're making a bag, if you're making a, a hat, if you're going to make a sweater, a blanket. I mean, I don't make blankets, but making the granny squares is like the best part of it because I don't like sewing things together or, well, usually I slip stitch things together. So like, I mean, it's a, it's a really cute idea and I've watched the videos of other people that do that, but it kind of sounds like a little bit of a nightmare to me <laughs> because I would just be stuck with the worst part of the project, which happens to be sewing everything together, in my opinion. So that's like the main reason I wouldn't do it. Not because I don't like you guys or 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 anything like that. Just because I don't want to sew a bunch of squares together. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I watched um, Anna Callahan do that. It 
It was a fun video. Bye, Anna Marie. We're working on a granny hexagon cardigan. Do I know how to make a phone holder? I'm sure I could. Just a little square bag, yeah. Izzy, I can't believe you sewing your favorite part. Little creatures, I don't block granny squares, so I don't have an answer to that question. Am I going to do a sweater tutorials? I have a tutorial for a granny hexagon cardigan that's open in the front. And I also have a tutorial for one that is closed in the front. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, other than that, I don't have any. Um, what the heck? I don't have any of my own sweater designs hanging around that I could use. Hi, Dina. Thank you so much for the $9. I appreciate you. I hope you're having a lovely day. Hello. I'm currently using your bucket hat tutorial, and I'm needing to make it a little bit bigger. I'm lost on how to do that. Okay. So you can do kind of like two things. You could use a slightly bigger yarn and a slightly bigger hook and do like the same amount of stitches, and that would make the whole thing overall bigger. So I... I that's probably what I would do because I'm a little lazy bum. But I also have access to a lot of different yarn sizes. So like getting a different yarn size and hook size for me, it just means looking around my room and finding it. But if you have to go to the store, then I don't, I don't know about that. Or on the increasing rows, you can add more increases. Here and there. An eye sweater. So um, I think on the bucket hat, it's a round of 12 double crochets and then it's increase every stitch. So it's 24 and then it's increase every other stitch and then it's increase every two stitches, increase every three stitches. And then, you know, mm, it goes to like, I'm not sure if it goes to four stitches in between or not. It might just go straight to like every nine stitches instead. But yeah, whenever it says like to transition from the increase rows to the Hi, Paige. Thank you for the $9.99. Thank you. I appreciate it. Message redacted? What did you say? Retracted? Oh. Maybe you said nothing. Should we buy patterns now or wait for a rework? If you want to buy patterns now, you absolutely should and can. You should buy them either on my website or on Ravelry. And that's because if I do a rewrite then my website and Ravelry, whenever it's updated, they send you an email so that you can re-download the new file. Um, if you buy them on Etsy, I'm pretty sure Etsy doesn't do that. Like it doesn't send out notifications if a listing is upgraded or updated or, or you know, whatever. Um, but, but yeah, if you buy it on my website and I happen to up, update the file by doing anything, You'll get a you'll get an email and it says like, hey, this has been updated. You can re-download the file, you know, and it's it's free. So I am feeling better. That's why I don't have a video to post today, a vlog or anything. I took two days to myself. I did a bunch of nothing. I made a lot of scrunchies. Look at my scrunchie basket. It's pretty full back there. <laughs> but um, me and Caesar watched a lot of movies. We did some chilling.
If you're having trouble with yarn tension, try different methods of like holding the yarn. I like to do just like a really simple around my pointer finger like this. Sometimes if I need some extra tension, then I will put it around my pinky like this. Some people like to do a little wrap around their pinky and then on their forefinger. Some people like to do some crazy stuff like a double wrap and then in between every finger and <laughs> stuff like that. So um, just try out like different holds and stuff, you know, see what works best. Do I like Avril Lavigne? Um, I like a lot of her songs, I guess. More like the older ones, like the the 2000s stuff. Um, Caesar does not crochet. I really want to make a video with him where I try to teach him how to crochet. And yeah, I just, I want it to be kind of like a special event. So do you, what do you, what do you, what do you guys think? Should we, should we do like a subscriber goal? And then once I hit that number, then I will make a video where I try to teach my boyfriend how to crochet. But how many subscribers? Right now we have 500 and 570, 750K. I, I'm saying we could do 600K, but like that's quite, it's going to be quite soon because we're at, right now we're at 576. So I think 750 is like a, it's pretty good. Wouldn't, wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say? Um, I'm pretty sure my black yarn did come in. I'm pretty sure it's sitting right over here in this unopened box that I have from Joann's because um, it came in. I just haven't opened it yet because I want to open it in a vlog, my next vlog. So, you know, 750K. Yeah. Okay. Whenever we hit 750,000 subscribers, I will make a vlog and I will try to teach Caesar how to crochet. I'll let him in on the business, you know. Bye, Aaron. Have a good day. I've been crocheting for um, 11 years. The name of the yarn I'm using is Karen Baby Cakes. And the color is called Candy Hearts. Yeah, maybe I can... <laughs> Maybe I can hear, maybe I can get Caesar to make some stuff. If he's good enough, I'll sell it. <laughs> I don't know if he's coordinated enough. Caesar is a Leo. He is a July Leo. Did you just guess that? Can you tell? He kind of acts like a Leo, doesn't he? Yes, I'll leave the live up so that people can watch it afterwards. I will upload on my gaming channel. Yes. I have a couple videos pre-recorded. All they need to do is editing, which Caesar's going to edit my gaming videos because he is the gamer boy. And also, he's just helping me out. So maybe hopefully soon... We'll have some more gaming content. Um, I I played Webkins. <laughs> uh, Paige, thank you so much for the $9.99. How do you price your items? I was recently commissioned by an outdoor shop in town, but I don't know how to price items. Help. Love your content. Thank you so much, Paige. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you so much. Um, okay. So for pricing, I mean, this is not going to be like crazy helpful because I'll tell you how I price items and then I'll tell you how like um, most people price their items. So I price my items based on vibes, which is very silly. I know. Um, but the main reason is because I like to keep the prices like relatively reasonable. And also I have other sources of income such as YouTube and writing patterns and then also like maybe some um 
influencer. What is what? Oh my gosh. I am. I'm blanking on the word right now. The thing that I just did with Snapple, you know, so I just price things. I'm like, uh, I'm making a card again. I'm like, I think that is sponsorship. There we go. Yeah. So I like, I look, I made a scrunchie and I look at it and I'm like, that's probably worth like $3 and 50 cents. <laughs> and so I sell it for that much, you know? Um, but if you are just crocheting and you don't have other sources of income, so the actual crocheting and stuff, like it matters a lot more, I want to say. So you can use a sort of like, um, a formula, goodness. And what most people do is they take the price of the yarn. So like if I'm just going to use one of these, it costs like $12. <laughs> Sorry, my brain is, uh, you know, it's not wired right medically. I have, I have the brain scans proof. Anyway, I would take the price of the yarn, which is $12. And then that would be starting. And then you should time yourself with whatever you're making. So let's say I make something and it takes me five hours and then I want to charge a certain amount for my labor, which let's just go with like $15. So <sighs> $15 an hour and it took me five hours. So that's $75. So then you would add on the cost of the yarn, which was $12 and that would be $87. And you can stop there, but you can also add on extra costs. Like you could add on another $12 so that you can buy another skein of yarn so that you have the means to make another product, which I, I guess technically you would have that money from the hourly rate anyway. But basically, there's no solid rules for pricing. You can price your items however you want because you're the person that made them. And you can value your time and your work however you would like to value that. And if people don't want to take your prices, if they say they're too expensive or they want to fight you on it, just let them go. Like, okay, then don't buy it and move on because somebody else will come along and they'll appreciate you and they'll buy your stuff. But... Whenever I started my business, um, I was making tops. I was making the same tops I was making now, and I was selling them for $18 a piece. $18. <laughs> Hi, Nora. Um, I have knit sweaters before. Yes. Um, Karen, yes, I have epilepsy. I got diagnosed like in 2020, which is interesting to get diagnosed in your, in your twenties. Anyway, um, I have multiple kinds of seizures. The big ones I have are tonic clonic. So that's like the whole passing out, shaking and, and stuff like that, you know? The, what most people think whenever you say seizure, I have those, but I don't have them often. I usually have them once a year. It's been about eight months since I had the last one. And then other than that, um, I have auras, which is like little baby seizures. They're technically called focal aware seizures, which is just like, I feel really freaking weird. Mine are mainly like, I get real confused and I'm like, where am I? And it just lasts for a little bit. And then I'm like, oh no, I'm good. Everything's fine. I have not made a granny square blanket. All of the blankets that I have made are, 
I mean, it's really, I, I, I just do like a big, um, repeat of stitches. <laughs> Like, you know, the last blanket that I made, I just, it's just a bit, I just did double crochets. I just made the whole thing out of double crochets. One of the unpopular crochet opinions that I have shared recently is that I don't block anything because I made a TikTok about it. And um, people didn't like that, so. <laughs> Don't spam the chat, my friends. Blocking is just, it's a lot, okay? And most of the time it's not worth it. Especially because I make clothing. So like, you're gonna have to wash it anyway. If it's something like, the, the things that I understand about blocking, things that I would block was if I made a tapestry that is gonna be hanging up and it's just wall art, like, Yes, I would obviously block that, you know, like if we did, uh, if I made an amazing color work tapestry that I wanted to hang up in my house as artwork, I would make it and I would block it once because then you only have to block it once and I think it's worth it and then it would be nice and square and it would look beautiful, okay? <laughs> but like clothing, like if you block it once... But just basically, you have to block it every single time you wash it. And I don't want to do that. If I make something, I want to... I want to just put it in the washing machine and then put it in the dryer. I want it to be low maintenance. So blocking is basically like, after you make something, you would wet it down. And then um, you put it on these blocking mats, which are like foam, you know, those foam puzzle pieces that you put on the floor that are like for kids. Toki20, thank you for the $5. I appreciate you. Thanks for being here. I hope you're having a beautiful and wonderful day. Anyway, you make something and then you stretch it out on the floor and you pin it down to like what it's supposed to be. Like, you know, if you're making a granny square and like, let's say the, the corners are like curling in, you know, you would get it wet after you make it and then you would pin it down so that it's like in the nice square shape. And you let it dry like that. And then it's supposed to, it's supposedly, it's supposed to hold that shape now because you've got it wet and you've dried it like that. So it's supposed to keep stuff from curling up, really. Flower Bottom, thank you so much for the $5. I really appreciate it. I wanted to say you've been killing it lately and keep up the good work. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's very, very sweet of you. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I wash and dry my tops. I do. Look at him stretching. So cute. I am. I'm making a cardigan. The yarn is working up pretty interesting, gotta say. How can you make yourself crochet in public? Make yourself? I don't know. I just bring my yarn with me and I just be doing that stuff. Fly me to La Luna. I caught a live. Welcome to the live. Uh, 
Uh, I have two dogs behind me. I don't have any suggestions for thin yarn crochet projects. I, I'm sorry. I don't like using thin yarn. So it's I don't have a lot of it in my house. I've done, I don't know. I've done like very few tapestry crochets, I think. Like um, I made this Barbie bag and the letters on it are technically tapestry crochet, color changing and stuff. But I've never made like an actual tapestry, like a big thingy to hang up, you know? Oh, I have spent thousands and thousands of dollars on yarn, at least. If we're going to count, like, since I started crocheting. Tons and tons and tons. For my crop tops, anytime it's, like, summer wear, I usually use cotton just because it's more breathable. For So, yeah, most of my tops are made of cotton. But I use acrylic yarn like this right now. I use it for, I would use it for sweaters, cardigans, you know, anything else like that. Oh, guys, Terry is doing good. Terry's back here. This is Terry. People have asked about Terry because he recently had a dental procedure and then after that dental procedure he got a little infection not in his mouth but like on the side of his face and stuff and he had to wear a cone for a while and he was in a really bad mood. But now he's doing much better. Um, I actually I gave him a haircut yesterday. He looks great. He is out of the cone so he's not scratching his face anymore. Um, he's wearing a diaper just because he's old. He's got to wear a diaper all the time otherwise he'll just he'll pee on my floor but you know he's doing great <clears throat> hi Allie can you please tell me what yarn is on your third middle shelf third third middle shelf the cone of shame. Yeah, he actually, he really hated his cone. So we had to get him an inflatable donut that went around his neck. That worked a lot better. I don't know. Um, are we talking about this yarn? This? This one? This one? Oh, God, you can see my feet. That one? <laughs> Yes. Yes. LOL. <laughs> that yarn is Red Heart Stripes. Red Heart Stripes. Let me see if I can look it up. Get you the color name. My feet are fine, but they're freaks on the internet. Red Heart Super Saver Stripes. Would I ever do sewing content? I would like, I would like do a video of like making a quilt or something. Oh my gosh. How, how far are we on this cardigan? See? Hexagon, take it, fold it in half, and then boom, you've got like a whole armpit shoulder going already, and you don't have to do anything front and back. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. I found it. That color back there, right in the middle, looks like fire. That is Red Heart Super Saver Stripes, and the color 
is called Fruity Stripe. Fruity? Fruity. Yep. Fruity. Hershner's is having an awesome sale on the Lily Sugar and Cream. Good to know, Jenny. Good to know. Don't tempt me. I mean, like, you can. You can tempt me, I guess. Chaco, thank you so much for the $10. Thank you, thank you. That's a cute little emote. Um, I don't have a P.O. box, but I have been wanting to get one for quite a while. Hi, cute little edits. Thanks for crocheting with me. Please don't spam the chat. Do your scrunchies have empty spaces between your treble crochet stitches too? Mine did after your tutorial and I didn't know why. Um, they do. Mandolin the morning. Hi. Don't spam the chat. You will get banned forever, unfortunately. No, I'm just kidding. You're going to get banned for 24 hours. You can come back. But hopefully you'll learn your lesson next time. So the scrunchies do have a space like between the treble crochets, you know? Um, but that's um, that's why I use velvet yarn because it's so fluffy that it hides the holes. Because if I made it with like regular yarn like this, I think it would look a little goofy with all of the holes in it. So that's why I make them with velvet. I pretty much only make them with velvet. Hello? Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I would love to get a P.O. box. You guys can send me stuff to the P.O. box, and I can do, like, P.O. box openings and videos, or we can do them, well, I don't know if we can do them live, but... Because if, and if, if well, I guess we could do them live. I don't know. I don't like making amigurumi. Not a fan. Not a fan. Um, I have a tutorial for the scrunchie pattern. I have an older one where I did double crochets. And um, I have a newer one where I do triple crochets. But in the one with the double crochets, I had a certain number of um, single crochets to do like around the ponytail, which I think was 35, but I have recently discovered that not all ponytails are the same size, obviously. So, you know, in the newer one, I kind of tried to explain like how many single crochets you should try to fit on your ponytail and what it should look like and not just like a certain number. Anyway. Anyway, but after you have the all the single crochets around your hairband, then you just do three treble crochets in every stitch around, and that makes all the ruffles. Hi, Jordan. What happens when the hair tie stretches out? Um, I guess, I guess. You'll just have to get a new scrunchie. I try to buy nicer quality um, ponytails, ponytail holders, hair ties. I saw a TikTok about how someone was like so angry whenever people call a ponytail holder just a ponytail. But I've, I've called them ponytails my whole life. Ollie Buns, thank you so much for the $5. I appreciate you so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Hello, I took your tips to heart and I have been practicing crochet speed drills. Ooh, nice. I've noticed a significant difference. Thank you. That's great. Honestly, I wasn't sure. Whenever people always ask me for speed tips, like 
I always want to say like, oh, just just practice because I feel like that's how I got faster. But um, I'm glad that it actually works. <laughs> so thank you. Chaco R, thank you so much for the $10. I really appreciate it. And I hope you are also having a very wonderful day. I'm going to sell my products, which are all from your tutorials. Is that okay? Yes, that is totally okay. You guys are free to sell anything that you make with your own hands. I don't think I, I have control over that, you know? Um, I would just so really, really appreciate it if you could, like, credit me, you know? If you post about it on Instagram or Facebook or wherever, just say, yeah, I made this from a tutorial from Passion and Kelsey. Or you can, like, just put a link to my website if that's easier for you. Tag me in it. Just, you know, do your best. But, you know, if you made it yourself, then I think you should be able to sell it. Mimi, thank you for the $4.99. I appreciate you, and I hope you're having a lovely day. Hi, I'm a huge fan. I love your videos. What's your favorite thing to crochet? What is my favorite thing to crochet? Hmm. Probably. Probably crop tops. <laughs> I mean, I make those all the time, you know? I like to make a variety of things, though. We're working on a hexagon cardigan right now. So we're making the hexagon part. It's not quite big enough yet to turn into a sleeve, but we only need a couple more rows, I think. Um, yes, my crochet bucket hat pattern will fit a 13-year-old, for sure. Drink water, everybody. Um, I sell my tops for $50, about, around, around 50 Hi, Nadine. Um, somebody asked what the speed tips were, and I don't actually have, like, specific tips for getting faster and stuff. Um, basically, I'm just, like, my main answer is, like, oh... People ask, how do you crochet faster? My main answers are usually like, try to crochet every day. And while you're crocheting, like, like actually just like try to go fast. A lot of people um, just like leisurely crochet because not a lot of people crochet for business. You know, a lot of people just crochet for fun and that is totally fine. But um, I feel like I've gotten faster over the years because I've had a lot of pressure and a lot of orders. And I'm like, I need to get this done as fast as possible. So I was sitting there and I was actively trying. I was like, how quickly can I get this done? So, um, you know, basically I'm like, just try to crochet fast and see how fast you can do it without messing up, you know, practice, 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 practice. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Toki20, thank you so much for the $5 again. I appreciate you. I'm 64 and I would love a top, but with a bodice. Is that something you could do? Old, per old person, modest, but not dead. Um, a bodice. Hmm. I think I think that maybe my ruffle top would be a good option because I can make that one longer super easily. I just keep adding on to the ruffles until it's as long as you'd like. Um, as far as, well, I do, I do have to say all of my tops are open back. So that is unfortunate, but mainly it's because like, we gotta, we gotta make it fit tightly and it's really hard to make crochet stuff fit tightly without having it lace up somewhere or putting in a zipper, which maybe I'll get into because I know how to put zippers in. I can, I can sew and stuff <clears throat> but um i don't know i don't know um no i'm not making this for a family member i just started it i'm not sure what it's gonna be for either i will i'll keep it for myself or i'll put it up for sale who knows it depends on if I finish it by Easter. If I finish it by Easter, I'll probably wear it on Easter and then I'll probably keep it. Or if I don't finish it by Easter, then I'll have nowhere to wear it to and I'll just put it up for sale. Either way, no. 
No, I haven't finished the cardigan from my last vlog yet. Um, if I was going to add a zipper to crochet, I would just sew it in. I have a sewing machine, so that's that would be my method of going about it. I have seen people crochet in a zipper before, which I think if you search it, you could probably find some good tutorials, maybe. I have made a blanket. I've made a blanket using Bernat blanket yarn. Um and it was like grays, gray, white, dark gray. It was like a, it was a mix. And then I also made a blanket for my stepdad with, I think it was Premier Puzzle or something, something very similar. And I think I did it, I don't know. I want to say a moss stitch, but that's probably not right. It was alternating. Um single crochets and double crochets back and forth. And then in the next row, you like do the opposite. Plans for after the live stream. I'll probably like decompress for a while. <laughs> uh, I'm very nervous right now. I'm, I'm sweating and I'm, yeah. Social interaction is a lot. No, um, I'm filming a vlog. So I'm just gonna keep filming my vlog go about my day. I have some orders to pack. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Hmm. And you're so real for that. Uh. Um magic circle. I have tutorials for that. I don't know how to crochet a zipper in. I've, I've never done that. I've seen people do it. I don't remember how they did it. Not sure. Not sure. Bye Kaylee. How much yarn do you use on a cardigan? No clue. I have been crocheting for 11 years. I, I mean, you can make my tops in whatever yarn you want. As long as it's, you know, I mean, you should probably use the same size or try to match the gauge. Um, the squared shirt, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sorry. What kind of crochet inspiration do you want? Right now I'm using a 6.5 millimeter hook. The tension is like a bit loose, you know? I sized up the hook on purpose. Hey, Christine. Welcome, welcome. Have I ever made a granny square sweater or cardigan? Um, have I? I might have. I've made a cardigan with squares before, but they were like solid single crochet squares. If I sell a top I made from your pattern, do you think $30 is too cheap? Um, I don't, I think $30 is fine. If you, if you think $30 is good for you, then yes. If you want to charge more, charge more. How many chains can I do in a minute? Not, no, I haven't done that specifically. I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> about that one. <clears throat> I usually join my granny squares with a slip stitch. My Stanley Cup is is pretty nice. My boyfriend got it for me for um, Christmas. <laughs> P 
pink Valentine squared shirt. I still don't know what you're talking about. I'm so sorry. Clothing inspiration. Um, uh, make a uh, like a little cropped t-shirt. I really like the Coliseum crop pattern from Ed's Fart on Instagram. Or Ed's Fart on, I think it's Etsy. I don't know. Coachella inspired patterns? Probably not. I have not tried making a sunflower blanket, but that's probably just because I don't I don't make blankets in general. I think that they're so cute. And I have been tempted in the past, gotta say, because they are so cute. But blankets are a ton of work, and I don't think they're worth it for me personally. I don't like using blankets with holes in them. Yeah. My raglan sweater? I don't have a raglan sweater. The sweater that I made for Valentine's Day. Oh, that's not my pattern. I gave credit to the original pattern designer in the video, so if you want it, you can go and look at it. But I don't own that, so I cannot tell you how it's made or make a tutorial or anything like that. Oh, Suzette Stitch. Okay. Wait, is that what I'm talking about? Earlier I said I was like, I was talking about the moss stitch, but then I was like, that's probably wrong. Maybe it is the Suzette stitch. Hmm. I do sell my work. Yeah, I'm a full-time crochet artist. This is my, my business. Everything that I make, I sell. And I make YouTube videos for you guys and... That's that's all. That's all I'd be doing. Lemon peel stitch. Oh, okay. Um, yes, I knit as well. Yes, yes, yes. Single crochet, half double crochet in the same stitch, then skip one if I oh. My business is called Passionate Goods. My YouTube channel is called Passionate Kelsey. Kelsey's my name, if you guys don't know that. Hi. Um, I created my website using Shopify. I just got on there, made an account, built my website using a template. Honestly, Shopify has so, so many options. It was a little hard to figure out at first because it was a lot. But now that I've worked with Shopify for a while, I, I really like it. Um, yeah, I have a shop on, on Etsy. I started on Etsy. I just left Etsy because uh, the fees are so, so high. <clears throat> Shopify does have a monthly cost. Yes, you can see my progress. Sorry. Here we are. If we do our little fold, we can see how much we've got done. I don't like this so far, honestly. I don't like it. Hmm. <laughs> How do you make a business? Well, you make things and then you sell the things and then you, you got a business. Boom. There you go. The yellow's almost out. I just, I feel like it's not good because in the center, like from, from here to here, I was using scraps. So I don't think that it matched up with where we tied on the new yarn. 
Because, like, this yarn is supposed to make, like, solid color stripes, you know? Like, it shouldn't have this random blob of yellow around here, if you see what I'm saying. And also this random blob of purple right here. That Those really shouldn't be there. I love Lily Sugar and Cream. See? All of these two shelves are full of Lily Sugar and Cream. It's my it's my favorite cotton yarn for the tops that I make specifically. Um I have sold in markets before. I haven't done one since before COVID, so it's been quite a few years. And um I don't do them anymore mainly because I I don't drive anymore. Um, I mean, I, I'll drive like occasionally, but I'm not really supposed to be driving. Um, and also, like, I live in Missouri. I live in southern Missouri. Any of the markets that I have done, they haven't been grand or great, and I don't make enough money for it to be worth it. So I just don't go to them anymore. Twinning. Olga. Twinning. Bye, Oliver. Have a good day. Fun. Maggie hearts you. That's a good question. I feel like it took me years to actually get good at crocheting. And I'm, when I say years, like years quite a long time. But um, I also think that there is a difference between crocheting for yourself or your family members, like home crochet, like it's okay if it's not the best, if there's some ends poking out here and there, if you've messed something up, most of the time it's fine. But um, whenever I started selling and making things for other people and I started getting feedback it made me realize that I really needed to step up my game so yeah just basically like whenever I got my first reviews coming in um I was like I need to do much better so I started doing things to make my crochet more professional looking so like I started crocheting when I was 13, but I would say I was good at it after two or three years, but I didn't get really, really good at it until I started my business for after like the first year or two. I started my business, I opened my Etsy as soon as I turned 18, so it would have been 2017. Yeah. So many people encourage selling your crochet stuff. Like if you know, even if you just know how to crochet, somebody out there is just going to be like, oh my gosh, you should sell that. But like, you know, it is a hobby. Not everyone should sell, especially if you don't want to. I like to do weaving in my ends. Whenever you are weaving them in, I would, I would cut off like six inches. So I think that's like a good amount. You're supposed to weave it in three different directions. So like up, down, side, 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 down, you know, like make a little like weave it in in a little maze pattern because it's much less likely to come out if you do it like that, especially whenever the piece is going to be stretched in multiple directions like like that. And then also a lot of the times whenever I am weaving in an end, if the yarn is like a four ply, which means the yarn, if you untwist it, it is actually four tiny little strands all twisted together that make up the yarn. I like to split it in half and then tie those two ends together 
like around a different piece of yarn in the project. If you want to ask something, just send it in the chat. You don't have to ask if you can ask. Like just just send the just send the question. Um, if you want my tips on starting a business, I posted a full Q and A about starting a business. So and that was pretty recent, I think. I mean, uh, uh, it was it was this month or last month. But I got all the questions from. I think I did a. I, I got questions from my followers, you know. The business video is a really good one. Thank you. I was hoping that I could give some good advice, you know. Um, it took a long time for my Etsy to take off. It took me multiple years of working on my business and... No, you should not buy anything from Timu ever. Timu is very bad. Um, what was I saying? It took multiple years for my business to like go anywhere, make enough money. It took a long time of work. I don't have a favorite yarn. I don't have an overall favorite yarn. I like, I have favorite things for certain um, projects, but um, I'm not allergic to wool. I just don't really care for it as much. This is wool. I don't really, I don't love it. I think wool is expensive and unnecessary. Oh, Timu is just one of the many places that steals my photos and photos from many, many other crochet designers. And they just, they use them without permission and they're selling knockoffs and it's sweatshop workers and stuff like that. So... Yeah, just like Wish, just like um, I don't. It's it's been on multiple other websites, and a lot of the times there's nothing I can really do about it. They're just using pictures of me. Rude. The biggest one that gets stolen is my spiderweb top. They just have a bunch of pictures of me from like 2018. Like guys. Can we not? <laughs> Can we? Can we not? Hey. Um, I have ordered from Hobby before. And I I know about ice yarns. I've thought about ordering from them, but I haven't put in an order yet. So maybe we should do that for a video. Hmm? Um, I can't swim. Honestly, I have not used a lot of bamboo yarn. So I don't think I really have any strong thoughts on it, or at least enough to, like, have anything to say, I guess. I don't know. I don't make stuff for myself often. I always think of it as a waste, because why would I make it for myself when I could sell it and make money? I don't really need that thing. Congratulations, this is the longest I've ever been on a live. Well, thank you for being here. I like the Red Heart Granny Square yarn. Yeah.
I'm working on a uh, hexagon cardigan. Yeah, if you don't look at the center, like starting at the pink, the pink is where I put on this new cake. It looks fine because it's actually stripes. But the, the random yellow and the random purple is throwing me off. It's not supposed to be there. What row am I on? Good question. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're on row 13. I think that I usually do like 16. Eighteen, nice, 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 nice. Um, I do, I do really like crime shows and horror movies. Big fan. Have I ever been to England? Um, no, no, I haven't. I was trying to think. I went on a European cruise. Um, recently, not recently. Well, last year. But I, um, I'm pretty sure England was not a stop on that. I do have a gaming channel. Yeah, it's called Passionate Plays. I'm going to be posting some gaming content on there soon. The smallest yarn that I'm willing to work with... I mean, I'll work with a three, but I don't want to. If it's a two, absolutely not. If I could have any animal as a pet, what would it be? I mean, my dogs. I'll keep my dogs right now. Whenever I was in... Whenever I was younger, I like really wanted a hedgehog for quite a while. A couple months probably. I was just like, man, I really want a hedgehog. But no, I'm good. I don't need a hedgehog. Neji is so cute. He's a big baby. Thoughts on being asked what you're knitting when you're crocheting. I die a little on the <laughs> inside. Um, it, Yeah, no, it hurts. It hurts a little bit. <laughs> but I don't like being asked what I'm making regardless on if I'm crocheting or knitting or if they get it right or not. I'm usually just like, please don't talk to me <laughs> for anyone. Neji is, let's see, hold on. Neji, come here, baby. Hi. Oh, how are you doing today? This is Neji. He's a baby. He's not a baby. He's four years old. Um, he is, what are you? Hmm? He's a chihuahua mixed with a blue healer, or at least that's what they told us he was. I got him for free. Found him on Facebook. Hi, baby. Good stretch. Very nice. Let the people know what you look like. I mean, they see you in my videos, so. <laughs> He's a sweetie. Neji got his name from Naruto. Neji was the first dog that me... And my boyfriend got together while we were dating. So we named him Neji because that is also the first anime that we ever watched together. So we were like, let's pick a name from Naruto. And uh, we landed on Neji. We picked Neji after we saw him. I just, I thought it was, it, it was nice. He looks like a Neji, right? Um, unfortunately, <laughs> not a lot of people know Naruto. Basically, everywhere we bring him, like the vet or the doggy daycare, they all they always call him Nudgy, like nudge, like nudge, nudge. <laughs> nudgy, Nudgy. That's not him. That's not his name. Anyway, he's my little baby. He's definitely a mama's boy. All right, go away. 
Love you. Let roll. Anyway, this is Terry. This guy right here. Terry. Terry is a pomapoo. He's old. He's quite old. He's 14. And Terry was Caesar's dog before we started dating. So he's been adopted by me. I'm his stepmom, I guess. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Healer lab mix. Mm. Freya, that's cute. Um, I haven't used Dollar Tree yarn. I, I have a lint roller on me at all times because Neji sheds so much. Terry, put your butthole away. Terry's wearing a diaper because he's an old man. He's an old guy. Yeah. Yes. Um, Harry Potter fan, I guess. Yeah. I um, I read all the Harry Potter books for the first time like three years ago, and then we watched all the movies for the first time. Well, I I had seen like the first three probably, but I hadn't seen any of the older, the later ones. So I read all the books and then we watched all the movies in order because my boyfriend was like, it's, it's a, ne it's a necessity. We, you have to read them. And he, he already had them all from whenever he was a child. So I was like, okay, I'll read them. <laughs> well, if you've watched my tutorial, that is, I mean, that's, that's all I got. There, I, there's nothing else really that I can tell you on how to make the hexagon cardigan. Everything you need to know, it's in the tutorial. Remember, remember how I said, um, don't spam the chat. Please don't spam the chat. It's not fun for anybody. Oh my gosh, it's totally fine. You're not slacking. Today has been great. Maybe that's because I added a lot of... Um, I added a lot of stuff to the filter list. Anyway. But also, it's, it's also probably because... I'm streaming on my computer, so it just shows up on my channel instead of streaming up and down on my phone. Because when you stream on your phone up and down, it just shows up in people's YouTube shorts feed, kind of like when you're scrolling on TikTok and, you know, you scroll across a random live. So I'm pretty sure this video is broadcasted more to my followers. And then the other videos, when I do it on my phone, it's like... Um, it goes to random people, and this one is more of just followers. So it's pro that's probably why it's a lot better. Yeah. Definitely less fast. Terry. Stop doing that. Um, I don't I got my glasses at eyeglass world. I'm not even sure. The mobile does have more reach, for sure.
but um it has more reach but then there's way more people that are just rude as hell <laughs> so rude like quite literally after my last live i cried and then i haven't gone live since and that was um a while ago my first project ever um i don't i don't actually know i don't actually know what my first project ever was the first time that i was crocheting i was just making swatches you know i was just practicing my stitches and stuff Yeah, I did stream on Twitch for a while, a few months, um, but I didn't get any traction over there. I couldn't get people to go to Twitch. Like, I would post about it on my Instagram story and stuff, but, like, I would never get over, like, 50 people max. And then even that, like, there was not a lot of people chatting. And I, I am not a good space filler. <laughs> like, if nobody is talking, then I... I have nothing to say. I'm really, really bad at that. Um, my boyfriend is really, really good at that, which is interesting. But yeah, so if nobody's chatting, then I end up sitting there silently and then it's just a bad live stream overall. I've just, I've had a lot more success with streaming on YouTube. So I just moved my live streams over here from Twitch. TSL Dame, thank you so much for the $10. Love you so much. Thank you, thank you. My boyfriend is on YouTube. He has a gaming channel. He plays games. He doesn't do live streams right now, at least. I think maybe he will in the future. But he's a really funny guy. He's very loud. I love him, though. Um, I don't make things for my boyfriend. <laughs> nope. I, um, I've never made him anything, actually. He wouldn't wear it. And it's not because he doesn't like the things that I make or anything like that. Um, he is just, he's always hot. He's constantly hot. He doesn't wear hats or scarves or sweaters. So, like, what am I going to make him? Also, he has a big head. So, if I make him a hat, it will have to be special. <laughs> a pillow? Huh. No, no, no. I've made him a blanket before, actually. That's the only thing I've made him. And he does use it. And it's so disgusting. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um... No, he doesn't wear socks or slippers inside. Like, as soon as he's in our house, even if it's dead winter and it's, like, 60 degrees in our house, he's, like, clothes off. He's stripped. He only wears underwear. <laughs> Sorry, TMI. I don't know. He just, he, he's constantly hot all the time. Doesn't matter. Anyway. Um, I made him a blanket, and I used Bernat blanket yarn, and I did double crochets, and he does the grossest thing. <laughs> he, he like, he'll use the blanket, but then he puts his freaking toes in between the stitches. <laughs> and it's so gross. I can't. I can't. Every time he does it, I'm like, stop. <laughs> but at least he's using the blanket that I made him. nasty men men am i right <laughs> my zodiac i am a virgo i'm an august virgo okay like doing it with your fingers i totally understand but like your toes come on <laughs> you do that too that's so funny <laughs> Let's go, Virgos. Let's go, Virgos. <laughs> mm. 
My custom tops cost $55. I just exposed him. I'm sure he doesn't mind. He's in the other room. Shall we ask him? Oh, I could never wear toe socks. No. Um, I don't usually color control on anything, really. My birthday is August 25th. I wonder what he's doing. Birthday twins, Hannah. Nice. I've always felt like August 25th is like a great birthday to have. <laughs> he said no, his hair looks bad. Sorry, guys. Not today. <laughs> He said, tell them they can see me on my channel. <laughs> All right. Okay. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> He's very smooth. My birthday is today, but like six people in my family has August birthdays and a bunch of people I know. Aaron, happy birthday. I hope you have a great day. Caesar's channel name is The Seas 1998. His profile picture is a really derpy picture of me. It's not edited, unfortunately. I just look like that. Um, but I'll put his at in the chat. That is my boyfriend's channel, The Seas 1998. Yeah. <laughs> My custom tops are $55. Favorite band? Oh, a band? If I had to choose a band, I would say Paramore. Um, I have a beginner's tutorial for granny squares if you want to know how to make them. So, yes, I can show you how to start a granny square, but not right now. I'm busy. But I got a tutorial for you if you want to watch it. My gaming channel is called Passionate Plays. Passionate is spelled the same, and then it's just a space and plays. My boyfriend is from New York, technically. That's where he was born. But he moved here when he was still quite young. I don't play a lot of games. But that's mainly because I'm I'm trying to crochet a lot of the time, you know. Um, he is Hispanic, <laughs> but you can be Hispanic and from New York, just so you know. If you're asking about his heritage, his family is from El Salvador. Is his toes crusty? No, he keeps himself pretty clean. Gotta say. My heritage, I'm a, I'm a white girl. No, I did like a 23andMe and it's, it's just like, um, mostly European. And then I'm 11% Japanese. And that's, that's all I got. Book recommendations. 
Um, currently, I'm reading through the entire Percy Jackson series. Um, I taught myself how to crochet and knit by watching YouTube tutorials. Technically, my great-grandma introduced me. Like, she showed me how to do my first single crochets. But I was a little bit too young, and I wasn't super interested. So I retaught myself after she had passed later. The one, the, the dog that's walking around, that's Terry. Terry, Terry, Terry. Video idea, can you teach how to read patterns? Um, hmm. Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure about, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what I would say. In my mind, currently, like, pattern, reading a pattern to me is, I don't know, I want to, um, I'm, uh, I'm going to say self-explanatory. Because, I mean, generally, it's like, you know, just read it and then do what it says. I would have to think about it, because I don't know if there's, like, another way that I can... Is there like, is there a way to actually explain it other than that? Like, you know, like read it, just, just read it and then, and then do it. Terry is feeling better. Thank you for asking. We're working on a granny hexagon cardigan. Yeah, yeah, there is, like, um, terminology and, like, shortened stuff. But um, I think if if you have any sort of terminology in the pattern, that should be said in the pattern, you know? On the first page of my patterns, I always put a little abbreviations list so that, you know, like it says, like, chain, C-H, or a single crochet, S-C, Double crochet, DC, skip one, SK, like whatever. If you're going to use abbreviations, like you got to have a table of contents. Table of contents? Glossary? I don't know. What? I, what, what whichever. <laughs> I don't know. I have wondered about making like a solid hexagon cardigan. A key. Yeah, there you go. That's a That's a good word for it. I don't have a favorite yarn color. I just make things willy-nilly. I haven't crocheted socks, but I have knit socks before. I think that um, I think that making a video on how to read a pattern would be a little bit difficult because a lot of people write patterns differently. Not all patterns contain the same things. Don't. Brothers. There's not like a standard for writing patterns, you know? Everyone just writes them however they want. <laughs> Neji likes to mess with Terry a lot. But that's because Neji is a teenager and Terry is old and he wants to play but Terry doesn't really like to play yes I'll keep the full live up later so that you can watch the whole thing if you'd like to I have done collabs with people yeah
Um, yes, I have written patterns for a lot of stuff. Honestly, knitting and crocheting is totally an expensive hobby, especially if it's just a hobby. I make it sustainable by selling everything, you know? Terry has a diaper because he's old. He likes to go outside. I take him outside four times a day at least. And, um, you know, he's still very active and, and excited. And he eats a lot. But he is old. And he likes to do, like, 20 small peas throughout the day rather than uh, four bigger peas. I don't know. <laughs> he has a diaper because he pees. Uh, Mandela is a good choice for a hexagon cardigan. Yeah. Um, I am not a fan of inline crochet hooks, which Susan Bates is an example of those. I just, it's hard for me to work with them, honestly. I like tapered hooks better. I crochet fast without looking because I crochet a lot. Isn't Edgy dead? No, look at him. You never seen a dog lay flat out on their stomach? It's hilarious. The time for me is 4.32 in the afternoon. <sighs> he just has a case of the splutes right now. He will recover shortly. <laughs> I uh, I don't have any crochet pieces that I wear consistently. Oh, nice stretch, man. That was good. <laughs> he said thanks. Thanks. Um, I believe that I ship everywhere. I ship everywhere that will take it. I don't know. My website is set to international shipping, and I will ship everywhere that it will allow me to ship. Oh. Hi, Lucy. What was I talking about? Here in Missouri. A yarn subscription box. Um, I think I've had one. I had a uh, one from Darn Good Yarn. I feel like this is getting big. See, it looks so much better. The center is just off. This might be big enough. Let me measure it. Let's do a measure. Ugh. Yeah, okay. We're gonna connect this round for the sleeve. First, let me weave in the middle. There we go. Close up the magic circle. Go around it a few times. Um, I, I have never seriously considered making my own Patreon. I just, I don't know 
what I would even do with a Patreon. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, what's the, I don't know what the, um, I don't want to say purpose because I, I mean, I get the purpose. It's like making money. But what would I, what would I, what would I even do on there? Like, I feel like um, it would, I would feel bad if I had a Patreon because I wouldn't even know what to do with it. And like, what can I provide for you guys? I don't know. Yeah, but like I can't even I can't even get out enough vlogs and tutorials to post regularly on my main channel. <laughs> I I can't I don't have time for any extra content at all, really. I'm barely barely making it as is. That's why we're doing a live stream today instead of posting an actual video. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you guys, like, really, really want to support me, you know, just, like, you can buy some of my patterns if you want. Even if you don't use patterns, like, buying a pattern is no work for me because I don't have to do anything. Like, if someone buys a pattern, it gets emailed to them automatically. It's, like, it's no work for me. Writing the pattern obviously took a lot of time in the first place, but after that, you just put it up for sale and it pretty much takes takes care of itself. Um, and if you don't want to spend money, then just, just watching my YouTube videos is fantastic. Like that is support enough, really. Okay. There we go. How many sides have I done? Is it time? Oh. Yeah, I'm going to have to frog a little bit, but only, wait, 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 no, no, I just started. What's going on? No, I got it. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. What size is this? Um, It's probably like a woman's medium to large. It's probably more like a medium. I'm, I'm just making it to fit myself. And then it's it's a little baggy because I like it to be a little bit baggy. Is it okay to modify a pattern and release it as your own? Typically, no. That's that would be generally frowned upon. Um, yes, I watch Bag a Day Crochet. I've watched quite a few of her videos. I haven't been recently, but yes, I know of her. I watch a lot of her yarn unboxings and reviews. My favorite Thai food dish is Pad Si U. My scrap yarn ball is teeny tiny. I mean, I only, I have like, I started it with the scraps from the Granny Square yarn and there was only three balls used. I do have a tutorial for this if you want to know how to make your own hexagon cardigan. I learned how to crochet whenever I was 13 and I learned how to knit whenever I was 16. If I had to substitute lily sugar and cream, I would use, um, first I would use peaches and cream, but peaches and cream 
is Lily Sugar and Cream. That is just the Walmart brand. It's a little bit cheaper. They have the same colors. They have some different things as well, but um, that's what I would use first. And then after that, I would probably move to, I think it's called Dishy, probably because it's it's supposed to be used for like dish towels or whatever. But that is a cotton yarn. I don't know what the brand is. I can't remember. But I think that one is very similar. I also like Crafter's Secret Cotton. That's from Hobby Lobby, though. So if you don't want to support them, don't buy that. Um, I've been crocheting since the stream started. I probably wasn't crocheting for like the first 10 minutes or so. And it has been two hours. Um, I did use knitting looms whenever I was little. I made hats and stuff. I got one for Christmas whenever I was small. I thought it was very cool. And we also did it in my art class in elementary school. Am I watching any anime series at the moment? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm watching quite a few. Me and my boyfriend watch weekly. We're caught up on Dishy from Knit Picks. Yeah, that one. I'm pretty sure that's very similar in texture to Lily Sugar and Cream. Might be a tiny bit softer. Um, currently, we're watching Free Ren Beyond Journey's End, which, speaking of, it's Friday, so we got a new episode tonight. Very excited about that. Unless that was the season finale last week, which, if it was, I'll cry. Not really. Sorry. I'll just be very upset. And then we are watching One Piece weekly. We're watching solo leveling right now. It was the finale. <laughs> I just, no. I love Free Ren so much. I'll honestly just rewatch every episode that's out right now. Very sad. Very sad. Very sad. Um, oh, I want to start the Apothecary Diaries. I heard it was good. Dishy is thinner than sugar and cream. Oh. I don't read webtoons, but my boyfriend does. Um, what else are we watching? We're not watching anything. Hmm. I don't know. Most of the stuff we're watching right now is weekly. We're, we don't have a, um, we don't, we're not currently watching any animes that are finished. If that makes sense. Have not seen Ghost Hunt. Have not seen Inuyasha, but I know of it. I think it's on our list. I've watched all of Naruto. Bye, Adina. Boruto is still going. I've never watched any of it, though. Oh, Paprika is on our list, actually. We were just scrolling through our movie list last night, and we were like, oh, yeah, we want to watch that. I think knitting is a lot harder to learn, but honestly, most of the time I think that you should try both because some people just click better with one or the other. So might as well just try learning both. Currently, I'm using Karen Baby Cakes. Here it is. The color is called Candy Hearts. Oh, Delicious and Dungeon. Okay, interesting, interesting. There's a lot of annoying characters in anime. <laughs> I'm pretty good at ignoring that. Um, we watch all of our anime on Crunchyroll. But other than that, I think I mostly watch probably Hulu more than Netflix. We're connecting the shoulders now. Hey. Do you have to be like that? Oh.
Um, I'll end the live probably soon. It has been two hours. I don't know. At the very least, I got to end it by six o'clock. Right now it's 445 because I, I do need to take my dogs outside and feed them dinner and stuff. Here's where we are right now. I'm crocheting across here to connect these two flaps in order to make the armhole. Hmm? I always say I don't have a favorite color, but the answer is probably pink. Um, it's not a custom order. I'm just making it. I'm in Missouri. Um, yeah, I mean, I will show this in my next vlog. I don't know if we're going to finish it. This is two hours of work. Not bad. I could just make it cropped and like we'll be we'll be done much sooner. I have a video on how to make a granny square scarf and I also have a video on how to make a um, double crochet V stitch scarf. So if you're interested in either of those, I have tutorials. Have I seen Vampire Night? No, I haven't. I have made many, many cardigans. I can't even give you a number. Uh, probably less than 100, though. More than 20, less than 100. That's a huge range, but I want, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, no, I probably will not make a pants tutorial. The granny square pants that I made, that's not my pattern. It's a free pattern from the Yarnspirations website. And it was for a, a sponsored post. How tall am I? Mm -hmm. Still live? Hi, Jess. Welcome back. I am five foot six inches tall. Yes, I can show you the progress that we made on the cardigan from the last vlog. I put it away because I didn't want to work on it while I was live because I'm going to have to do sizing stuff and like check with the sizing chart and like measure stuff and all that. Um, I just wanted like a, a mindless project. And also I thought this was a, a nice, nice color palette for Easter soon, whatever. But I can show you the progress that we made on the custom order cardigan that I'm working on right now. I have done knitting with double pointed needles, yes. Done, connected. There we go. Right across the top there. Cotton yarn cardigans are so heavy, yes. Which is why I don't make cardigans with cotton. Um, here's the progress that we've made on the blue purple one. It is a Stanley Cup. Thank you guys. Celebrity crush is probably Kristen Stewart. Thank you, Eddie. That's very nice. I always want to try new yarns. A lot of the times I actually will buy the new yarn and then not find the time to try it, sadly.
Christmas is amazing. Oh, Kelly Clarkson is great too. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've actually added more boxes because of all the yarn that I got recently. Sadly. What can I say? What can I say? No, I haven't seen Kristen's new movie yet. I've been seeing TikToks about like, you know, the promo and stuff. But I have not seen it. For sizing and stuff, I like to use the Craft Yarn Council website. They have really good standard measurements for just like any measurement you could imagine. They have all of them and they have kids measurements, women's measurements, and the men's measurement. And they start in extra small and they go all the way to 5X, I believe. So that's good. Um, I could probably sell the skirt that I made, that little blue-pink skirt, but I don't think I'm going to start making a bunch of skirts to sell in general. Fun. Abigail, that's great. Fun. Have ever seen the Outsiders movie? Didn't they make us watch that in high school? Um, I just I don't know. I've never made skirts, so they might be easy. I I don't make skirts because whenever I wear a skirt, I like it to be high waisted. And if you're going to make it high-waisted, it has to have a drawstring, especially for me because of my hips. And I just, it never looks good with a drawstring in it because then the yarn gets all squished up and it doesn't lay flat anymore. And it just, it looks bad. The whole thing looks bad. Unless you want to wear it low-waisted, like under your, your belly button and right around your hips which I don't ever wear anything like that because stomach. I don't know. Bottoms are hard. Like um, in the, when I made the skirt, you know, it, I mean, it looks fine, but I kind of did have to squish everything to the back so that the front would lay flat while I was filming. And then if I filmed the back, I, I may have had to scrunch everything into the front so that it looked good. <laughs> My dress. Oh, my gosh. I do have a dress in progress in this room somewhere. It's not getting done anytime soon. Oh, Tina, I have no idea what yarn has been in my stash for the longest. I'm not making an order for someone currently, no. I'm just making this for funsies while we're doing the live today. Me and my boyfriend met at work. We worked together at a fast food restaurant. I didn't sell the pants that I made. I think that I probably should sell them. They've just been sitting in my room. I want to sell them. I just need to put them up for sale. <laughs> and and that takes work. So why would I do that? I have made a dog sweater. I made a sweater for Terry. Terry. 
You could make a skirt with pleats. I've thought about it before, but just a lot of times crochet is it's too thick and it it would probably look funny. Yes, right now I'm doing circles around the sleeve to make it longer. But here is our progress. Um, plates are like a whole thing. You'd have to do a, uh, quite a bit of sewing. I know how to make pleats because I've sewed pleated things before. Like when I was, um, I mean, we talked about this earlier, but whenever I was in college, my, my major was fashion design and product development. So like making the products, you know, so I've taken many a sewing classes. I also, I knew how to sew before that because my grandma taught me and then I took sewing class in high school and then I took two years in college and stuff. So, but making pleats, like basically, you know, here. You just make a really long piece of fabric and then you fold it up. Fold it up. You can use acrylic yarn for tops. Like, you know, you would take this and then you would fold it. Anyway, and then you would sew a straight line right across here at the top, and then you would have all of this, this flowy part down here. That would be the bottom of your skirt. Pleats. <laughs> Whenever I started, I made all my tops with acrylic. You know. So basically, like, you would have to make a really long piece of crochet and then you'd have to fold it up and all of the over overlapping folds at the top it would just make the crochet piece too thick I don't know I think it should be tried at some point somebody has probably made stuff with pleats in it why you know I have made a blanket. Yeah. Um, how many rounds did I end up doing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I did 16. I did say we were going to end up doing 16, didn't I? Whenever I took the Harry Potter house test, I think I got Hufflepuff. Probably. This is how our cake is looking. I seem like a Hufflepuff. Funny. I use cotton yarn for tops because it's nice and breathable.
I started a small business because I was crocheting and crocheting and crocheting. And then I had all this crap and I was like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this crap? And then people were like, ah, sell it. So I was like, okay. And now here we are. <laughs> you could use a ridged stitch. Ridged. Um, I would teach someone to crochet, but like not any random person. Boy, calm down. Like I would teach a family member to crochet, but I don't I don't think I would do classes or anything like that. You just got some mail. You've been ordering scrunchies, haven't you? I know. I know. <laughs> I mean, I pack all the orders, so obviously I do know. <laughs> Um, I got this dress for him on eBay. Yeah, we're going to teach my boyfriend how to crochet whenever I hit 750K. Ooh, um, I got the dream, the green dragon feminism shirt on Christmas from Caesar. And I think that he said he got it on Etsy, I believe. No. No, I will never just stop buying yarn. Unless I stopped taking custom orders. I guess technically I could do that. But I'm always going to have to keep buying yarn for my business. It. He's getting rowdy. I, I definitely need to make some black scrunchies for sure. Am I excited for Easter? Um, I guess. I'm excited to eat food, but... Hey, calm down. Um, the velvet yarns that I've been using to make scrunchies is, I use Bernat velvet a lot and, but a recent favorite of mine has been, um, Juicy Couture. It's really, really soft. Deviled eggs. Um, gotta say, I don't like deviled eggs. And I'm a big egg fan. I love eggs. I love scrambled eggs. I love over easy eggs. I love eggs. Whatever that red sprinkle crap that they put on top of it, it just ruins the whole thing. An egg should not be sweet. Give me salt and pepper. Yes. Whatever the, whatever the heck they're putting on top of the deviled eggs that ruins them. Disgusting. You hate me. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. No Easter patterns. It's it's paprika. Thanks guys. Yes, I'm making a cardigan. Uh, 
Oh, I don't like avocados. I don't like the texture or the flavor. I've never had eggnog. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't like bell peppers. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm an extremely picky eater and it sucks. Cuz I want to eat everything. I like I want to eat all the food. It looks tasty, but when I, you know, eat it, I'm like ew. <laughs> I will never use up all of my yarn. No. Probably not. Guys, we're going to have to go. We're going to have to go. I got to go. I got to take care of my dogs and feed them dinner and stuff. They're getting antsy. Can't you tell? But as for, for two and a half hours, this is pretty good progress. We started this on stream. Yeah. <laughs> yes thank you for being here i appreciate it today's live stream went great i want to say so but everyone i gotta go i gotta go thank you for being here thanks for watching this will be posted after as a vod so you know you can watch the whole thing if you want or if you missed it thanks for watching the vod <laughs> But anyway, I got to go. I got to feed everyone dinner and eat some dinner myself. So hope you guys have a good night and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.